Hallelujah. You must believe. This is your part to believe. What is your second part? Obtain grace to obey. Obtain grace to obey. Every promise of God, either written in scripture or that comes as a prophetic word, depends on your obedience. Hebrews 4, 1, 2, and 11. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1, verse 2, and verse 11. Let me read. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise be left us of entering into his rest. Paul is speaking now. Any of you should seem to come short of it. Verse 2. The Bible says, For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Did you hear that? Not being mixed with faith. What is faith? Action, obedience. So they heard a powerful prophetic word and it did not profit them. Meaning it is possible that your January to December can be like every other year in spite of the prophetic word. It is possible, in fact, that your January to December can be the worst year yet for you. It depends on your obedience. James chapter 1. Okay, let's, let's, let's do verse 11. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 11. He now leaves us with an instruction. Let us labor. How do you labor? In word and in doctrine. How do you labor? In obedience. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest. Lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. James chapter 1 and verse 22. This is your part. This is my part. Let's read together. Ready? One to read. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. One more time, please. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. I hope you know that all through this discussion tonight, you have been hearing. And the Bible says, if you hear alone, you are deceiving your own self. Meaning you must obtain grace after this night. And that's why I'm about to speak to your life. Obtain grace that for everything you heard from the beginning of our discussion, be it unto me. Be it unto me. Be it unto me. You have spoken. It is my year of exceeding great rewards. It is a year where you are rewarding my consistency and faithfulness. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. It is a year where you are judging all kinds and forms of wickedness and mockery in my life. I believe. You are bringing shame and reproach to end. I believe. It is a year where my profiting for serving you becomes evident and visible to all and sundry. I believe. What is my own part? I believe you like Mary. Number two, I obtain grace that as instructions will keep coming here week after week, I will obey with childlike faith, expecting your word to work for me. Expecting your word to work for me. I expect the word of God to work in my life. Not as a man of God, as his son and as his child. I expect the word of God to work in this ministry. Why? Because we are not rebellious to the laws of the Lord. The Bible says the law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. This year can become your best year ever through obedience and faith. Or this year, listen, the other side of all this encouragement, I'm telling you, I'm not a prophet of doom. But remember, I brought a prophetic word here last year while I was teaching I shall not want about the things that I saw. You see, I love God and I don't have time coming to prophesy nonsense. It's, it's not, I don't, um, I respect God and I respect myself. I don't want to come and just talk rubbish when I come up here. But when God impresses upon my heart and I come up and declare to you and to the body of Christ that this is what I saw, God will always bring a way of escape. And the way of escape is what has come through this prophetic word. 
Let me tell you, without God and without the secrets of the kingdom, this year is going to be a very hard and terrible year for many people. From an economic standpoint, statistically speaking, economically speaking, politically speaking, and with the realities of the times, the Bible tells us wickedness will increase. Am I right on that? You don't need to be a prophet. It's in the Bible. Wars and rumors of wars. Our military people labor day and night. All the whole, you know, arms of the army, the air force, they are laboring right now to curb mayhem that is eating even into the state capital. So without the encouragement and the comfort that comes from God's word, this is a year to be afraid of. But the Bible says, thanks be to God, which causes us always. How does he cause us? By sending his word. This is how he causes us to triumph. He does not cause us to triumph by wishing and mesmerizing triumph. It does not happen that way. I have chosen my own possibility this year. I have chosen what must happen to me and what must not happen to me. I have chosen on your behalf under God as far as koinonia is concerned what must happen to you and what must not happen to you I have agreed with God prayer in the name of Jesus that if tears come out of your eyes this year it must be tears of joy yeah. believe it all so that you don't cry for nothing this year in the name of Jesus tears of joy yeah. rejoicing this year that people will look at you and say come come and show us how to serve God because there is something from your life your life is a demonstration that it pays to serve Jesus this year God will elevate supposedly nobodies you will see people who have no comeliness I'm telling you ordinary people who while they are testifying here you will think they are lying the lifting power of God He reigns, he reigns, you are standing by my side, to bring your word to pass, he reigns, he reigns, oh my God, he's an awesome God. He reigns, he reigns, he is standing by your side to bring his word to pass. He reigns, he reigns, our God is an This is what God wants to do. God wants to make a wonder out of our lives. God wants to make a name for himself in and through your life. And tell you whether you are in the main auditorium or all the overflows down to the basement or outside or following online. It doesn't matter where you are. I want you to connect within the few minutes we have because I truly want to speak. It is the prophetic word that releases the grace the grace behind the speakings of God for us. There is a grace that God gives men for the sake of those he's sending you to. Let me show you a scripture. Ephesians 3 and verse 2. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, watch this, which is given me to you word, can we say that in Amplified if it gives us something different? The dispensation of the grace which is given me. Read it please. Ready? One to go. Assuming that you have heard of the stewardship of the grace, his unmerited favor that was entrusted to me. Watch this. To dispense to you for your benefit. The grace was given to me to dispense to you. I never end my retreat without receiving the grace that makes what God says come to pass. It will be a waste to just give you information that God has declared that this is your year and my year of exceeding great rewards. Backing that word, 
must be a grace are you ready to receive please rise up on your feet rise up on your feet you're going to pray for two minutes please hold hands with someone by your left and right if you can except for those working everyone should be making contact with someone we're agreeing as a family of faith right now those outside make sure you hold someone by your left and right in the next one minute we're going to pray as a global family be it unto us Lord we believe be it unto us everything you have said concerning 2024 from January till December we believe go ahead and pray you are holding the hands of someone we are engaging the weapon of unity and we are making faith declarations Lord we believe over January over February over March over April over May June July August September October November December 2024 we agree there will be no death no shame no mockery outside are you praying overflows are you praying koinonia global pray body of Christ those connected this is not just for koinonia it is a reality that extends to the body of Christ we can tap by faith with understanding hold the hands of someone make declarations of faith in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus we decree and declare be it unto us everything you have said be it unto us that this year the profit that comes from loving you from serving you will be evidence to all and sundry we believe surprises by the spirit change of levels by the spirit mighty manifestations greater anointings by the spirit unctions by the spirit signs and wonders by the spirit extraordinary wealth and abundance by the spirit settlements of all kinds by the spirit testimonies by the spirit this we believe this we receive we believe praying one minute increases of every kind in the name of Jesus spiritual growth increase breaking lips and bounds by the Spirit of God by the Spirit of grace hallelujah hallelujah now final prayer and I speak over you the Bible says but I know whom I have believed listen and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed he only keeps that which is committed provided you hold it you are there's no guarantee that he will protect it you are going to hand over your life hand over your affairs hand over your business hand over your wife hand over your husband hand over your children to his loving arms this is not the year to try to protect things in your power you don't have the ability lord i hand over everything go ahead yeshua hamashiach yeshua Amashia, Komina Nakane, Yeshua, Amashia, Komina Nakane, Yeshua, Amashia, Komina Nakane, Yeshua, Amashia, 
Go ahead and pray. We hand over Koinonia. We hand over our sound of revival conferences. We hand over our global conference. We hand over every miracle service. We hand over our destinies, our health, our marriages, our finances, our children. We cannot fail. This year we experience elevations of that kind. Hand over your career. Hand over your spiritual life. Mother, hand over your children. They are safer with him than with you. Father, hand over your family. Hand over your affairs. Don't hold it to yourself in pride. You will lose and lose and lose again. Hand over your business. Hand over your company. Hand over your job. Preachers, hand over your ministry. Hand over your music ministry. Hand over your apostolic ministry. Hand over the prophetic ministry. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Tonight in this place there are preachers. Great men and women. Some of my dear wonderful people in ministry have come to worship with us tonight from far near. In this place tonight there are businessmen. In this place tonight there are career people both excelling and struggling. In this place tonight, there are family people trusting God for all kinds of testimonies or celebrating Him in thanksgiving. In this place tonight, there are students trusting God that He will write and rewrite their story. In this place tonight, there are people enjoying health. In this place tonight, there are people struggling who came trusting Rafa to touch them. In this place tonight, there are people who have been marvelously helped of God financially. But there are people who are in financial pain pain that is worse than bodily infirmity limited some of them right now after service they do not even know how the week coming will be in this place there are people who have been in debt threatened by all kinds of debt like the wife of the sons of the prophet in this place there are people who have enjoyed the arrival of children in this place there are others who have lost loved ones can i tell you it doesn't matter what is around your life it is safer when you hand it over to god if it is pain still give it to him if it is your crown still give it to him hallelujah i was teaching over at the concert the worship concert in zaria to wrap off last year and one of the things i taught them was the various templates of worship in the Bible. There were various templates, three of them. Number one, Job. Job lost everything. And the Bible says he bowed himself and worshiped. Number two, the woman with the alabaster box. One of the synoptic accounts would tell us that that was a woman who was a harlot. She had a terrible past, a past that should not be desired by anyone. So here on one side is a man who was once great and he went from grace to grass. He lost everything and his response was worship. Here was a woman who had a terrible past that would not even want anybody to know. Her response with her alabaster box, worship. And then the Bible finally teaches us the worship in heaven, the four and twenty elders. These ones did not have scars, they only had crowns. And yet with their crowns, they still worshipped. So in the presence of worship, those who have lost, those who are in pains, and those who are enjoying victory, all bow to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That must be your attitude this year. That while you are trusting God for the best, 
if you find yourself in the position of Job, your response, worship. You find yourself in the position of Mary with all kinds of negative things around your life, your position, worship. She started the worship with her tears and her hair. This woman was a very interesting woman because all of her worshipped. Her hair worshipped. Her tears worshipped. Her wealth worshipped. And then for the 20 and 4 elders, they dropped their crowns. You don't receive crowns as a gift. It is a reward. And yet they laid it down. I'm giving you this as a prophetic instruction. Let there be nothing that happens to you this year that will make you call God unfaithful. You're, from now, you live rejoicing and say, Lord, you are faithful. If you find yourself as an elder with a crown on your head, receiving rewards like we expect, your response is worship. You find yourself with yesterday being painful and bitter for your family, for you. Just have those under the anointing. I see some people under the anointing. Your response is worship. You find yourself like Job. Perhaps last year it was great. Towards the end of last year, things just crashed down financially or otherwise. In any case, your response is worship. Let me speak over your life now. You don't have to kneel. Please stand. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have anointed us afresh for this season and for the sake of your people. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare the grace that is behind this prophetic word, exceeding great rewards, may that grace from today begin to follow you. May that grace from today begin to follow you. Let it follow you in ministry. Let it follow you in business. Please hear me. In the name of Jesus, shame and reproach over your life. We preached on Ichabod last year. Whatever has made men to call you Ichabod, I declare like Rahab the prostitute, may God rewrite your story. Like Ruth in the Bible, may God rewrite your story. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Every long-standing testimony that you have trusted God for, let this be the year of speedy performance. The year of speedy performance. Let me prophesy in the name of Jesus. Let there be supernatural marriages this year. Supernatural marriages this year. Supernatural children this year. Supernatural jobs this year. Supernatural liftings this year. Supernatural restoration this year. Hear me. There are some of you here. Before we get to June, you will be so empowered. You will take care of your entire family as a single person. I say it again my God will lift you and empower you you will take care of everyone as a single person there are ministries here who may be small in terms of impact but in the name of Jesus as this grace comes upon you you will expand like the clouds in the sky you will expand like the clouds in the sky you will expand like the clouds in the sky can I pray for your finances if you don't believe it don't receive it but if you believe it in the name of Jesus I pray for you this year between now do you know listen thank you Jesus I just remembered something while I was praying coming I had in my spirit after four months then comes the harvest I, I I don't know how it escaped my mind hallelujah you see the you see the, the benefit of the Holy Spirit I think I, I can't remember if I wrote it or not I was praying just before I would come I kept hearing it in my spirit after four months then comes the harvest after four months then comes the harvest whatever that means to you I pray for you that in the name of Jesus literally within four months and prophetically within four months may your harvest be delivered to you 
May your abarakas kote prekete balakatosia. May your harvest be delivered to you. After four months, then comes the harvest. Everything that has crippled you economically, tied your hands, tied the hands of your spouse, receive this one, oh, tied the hands of your loved ones so that you cannot rise. Rent you cannot pay. You are building you cannot complete. Children cannot go to school. I pray for you. May my God who is Ebenezer arise and wipe that shame from your tears. Wipe that shame from your eyes. Wipe that shame from your life in the name of Jesus. I pray sincerely for any man of God here who has been struggling in ministry. You love Jesus with all your heart, but there are results you have desperately prayed that they happen. I pray for you. Between now and the next four months, may God surprise you. Everyone in business, hear me. I pray for you. This is your year. This is your year. This is your year. This is your year. I decree rise. I decree shine. Go and excel in business. In the name of Jesus. Now hear me. All blessings come from God through man to man. I want to pray for you. Perhaps God instructed certain people to look on you with kindness last year. But the devil manipulated them into forgetting you. And he made last year Mara a bitter experience. I'm praying this year, speedily they will turn to your attention. Speedily they will turn your direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. Every time there is economic calamity, it is always connected with death. Go and read your Bible. Everywhere you see economic calamity, you will always see death connected to it. Let me pray and separate you early now from that demonic destructive spirit. I don't care what prophecy is flying around about death or otherwise. Koinonia Global, hear me. And believers, hear me. In the name of Jesus, as one sent of God and sent by God, this year you will not die. I say it again, this year you will not die. I shut the mouth of the grave concerning you. I shut the mouth of the grave concerning you. Every conspiracy by hell, whether in your place of work, to bring you down, to stop you from rising, so that your glory be turned to shame, the spirit behind it lives now. In the name of Jesus. My final prayer for you. Listen carefully. You see this thing we call anointing, eh? It's not oil, oh. I hope you know that. Oil is only a representation. Because if you rub that oil on your head, you will go and take your bath. And you will clean it away. Are we together now? Anointing is not just oil. It is an engracing from God that makes you command results only God can produce. It is impossible to be anointed and produce results at a human frequency. The assignment of the anointing is to elevate you to a realm of possibility where the result that comes from you, it becomes clear and unmistakable that this is God walking through a man. Can I release that grace on you? The grace for extraordinary results. Results beyond human comprehension. Receive that anointing now. Receive that empowerment now. Receive that empowerment now. By reason of this prayer, I call you a sign and a wonder. I call you a sign and a wonder. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. So shall it be. Beginning from now. So shall it be. All through the 12 months of this year. 
in the name of Jesus. You will not fall. You will not fail. You will not falter. Anybody waiting for bad news from your end will wait forever. Did you hear what I said? Anybody waiting for bad news from your end will wait forever. As for you, the Lord is your portion. You will rise above your enemies. You will smite your enemies on the cheekbone. In the name of Jesus. The grace is here. More than available for you. And whilst we begin to pray, don't just watch others receive. Be sensitive. You are the one who knows what you are here for. Are we together? In one minute, I'd like you to open your mouth and cry. Mention specifically, why are you here? Talk to the Lord. Please pray. Please pray. Pray with all your heart. Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family that pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch a second touch over my family my loved ones are not born again Lord I can't watch them go to hell like this Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? 
One more time, Creator. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burdens. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able. I will continue to read it for you. Isaiah chapter 61. Please give it to us. The messianic prophecy. Jesus' own manifesto. He's saying this is what I came to do. Isaiah 61. It says the spirit of the Lord. We are reading from verse 1 to 4. Is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn. 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beautiful ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. For. And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. They shall repent airway cities he says the desolations of many generations i like you to pray whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family insist that tonight is the night when it will happen overflow one pray overflow two overflow three by the roadside those following from around the world open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord just showed me something like a train. You know, a speed train, not like we have it now. <laughs> just like a train, just passed like this. And I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed. Listen. Listen. We are going to pray now. And like I always say, you'll find out when I pray, you're going to see people running around in and out. Please just guide them and bring them out. Ushers, whether you are an usher or not, the ushers can only do so much. I want to pray. Once I pray that prayer, listen, please, I don't want you to get, listen, please, hold on. I don't want, it, the idea is not about people falling down, carrying them. Please let your spirit be open. Be open for when your word will come. 
be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of those people at Overflow 1. A lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer are in Overflow 1, the Overflow outside. You see, let me tell you this. When a man, listen, when a man does not have speed in his life, you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do. It, it takes more than just power, right? Please help those in Overflow 1, my God. I'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at Overflow 1 outside. Now, listen. When there is no speed in your life, listen. Imagine that I have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and I'm tiptoeing on one leg. Am I moving? Yes, sir. But when will you arrive there? The pressure that you will mount on this leg, it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it. And so God, when he wanted Elijah to move, because he had already been delayed, the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He was empowered of the spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No. When that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is, I'm ready to shift you. That within a short time, you will see a lot happen in your life. In three days, the work of redemption was done. Three days. This powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years. It happened in three days. By the end of three days, Jesus had ascended, poured his blood, returned back. He was ready. It was now to launch the church. Big things don't have to take plenty time. When the hand of God comes upon you, you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast. Are you ready now? Lift your hands. I want to pray. I will do the praying. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to shout Jesus, not you now. I'm the one shouting Jesus. I'm going to shout it and at the third time, I tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of God. Let me have those people out. Lord, you are bringing speed to your people. And I know that there are angels all around. It's time to change people's levels. And even as you have instructed me, oh God, as I declare that name that is above every other name, I pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position, that in the name of the God of heaven, an anointing will shift that person into his destiny. Jesus, that's number one. Mm. Jesus, that's number two. Get ready now. Shabalakata. Jesus. Let that anointing right now. I shift men. Speed. Kabarakatosha. Speed to your life. Oh God, let every delay be broken now. I command the spirit of delay. Be broken. Speed. I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help that woman. Please help that mama there. Shakatoka tabarakata. Please help them, whether you are an usher or not. Speed! Speed! In the name of Jesus, I command everything that has refused to move in your life. I move it by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. The Holy Ghost is moving you. Except this prayer is not for you. There is an anointing that must shift you. Must shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just, just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service 
Shekete karakatos Embrakata katoka telakata Lift your hands please I'm praying For some of you now It's the same prayer But it's no longer just for you You may not be experiencing it But your family needs speed The anointing now is moving from individuals to families Lord where are the families That need the shift of the Holy Ghost I decree and declare right now I speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace Families be shifted now Speed, speed, speed Speed Kabarakoto Shegeta Ebre kete 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 I decree it, I declare it I decree it and I declare it Shapakato katabalakatosh no more delay i stretch my hands i'm seeing an angel of the lord just on this road i stretch my hands right now i move people god is moving people here i decree i declare i decree i declare i decree i declare by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus in the name of jesus it must work for you i shift you no more delay in your life this lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of jesus now all those in front i'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three i speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 i lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your mouth. yes i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the lord is saying that he's shifting things i'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus let that chain be broken let that chain i command that devil i'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of jesus hallelujah be sensitive i want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold i give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but i want to pray a dangerous prayer i'm seeing snakes this is what i'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three everyone shout jesus as you shout jesus i see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen i command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now one two three in the name of jesus 
I crush Satan. I crush his works inside, outside. I command every power, every force. Go now. Go now. Hallelujah. Please be sensitive. Just give me the volume. I'm seeing fire by my left and right. Just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now. As I'm walking here. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil. You must go now. You must go now. You must go now. I declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. As soon as I come close to you, that fire, and there is an anointing. You can't stand it. It's impossible. As soon as I come close to you, as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. I'm coming this way. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming this area, this direction. Let them go now. Release them. I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release them. I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach. Release them now. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hands here. Right now. The fire of God is setting people free now. Lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them now, lose them, lose them in the name of Jesus, lose them now. Those outside, lift your hands. God is about to set you free. Please, I'd like you to pray. Everyone pray. Enough is enough tonight. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Now listen. Overflow one, listen to me. Listen, you don't have to touch me. Please, you don't have to touch me. But in the name of Jesus, hear me. The Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone. As soon as I pass here, I don't have to come close to you. You are going to feel fire all, all over. That fire, that will be the end of it. You must testify. Right now, I stretch my hands. Right, right now. It's over, over now. Shakos kata nika, eketo santa rikata, embreketo sheketa, akato shekiyata, manta brekotos. Let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go now. The spirit of sorcery, I curse it now. The spirit of witchcraft, I curse it now. Please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves. Go, go, be free. I command that power. By fire, by fire, by fire, it leaves you now. Those of you here, I want you to lift your hands. Overflow two. Overflow two, lift your hands. Let me go to the front there. Enough is enough. As I pass this place, listen. I want you to be very sensitive. There is a strong anointing tonight overflow too please help your neighbors i'm only going to pass here right there as soon as i come close to you except god is not god if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now i command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now release them release them release them every covenant release them i break that power now 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 be broken hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i didn't know we have an extra overflow here i want to pray for those by the side here as I stretch my hands to you, please don't waste your time. I'm seeing fire already. Here. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, 
those of you by the roadside one two let them go by the power of the holy ghost i release you please help them so they don't injure themselves i declare i decree and i declare you are free Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of three, overflow 3, all of you shout Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, bring them out. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, 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 be broken now. Be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. Change, be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three, lift your hands and see praying. Listen. I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone. Happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing, in the name that is above all names. At the count of three, one, two, three. Shout Jesus. Bring them out. That devil must let you go today. My God, look at what God is doing in Overflow 3. Shaprakato shekete skaba. Embrakato koto shabaria. Look at what God is doing in this place. Embrakete kete keto shabarukatos. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back. But I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow 3. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder. But that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen. But a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you. You will have a dream in the night. And in that, in that dream. Someone will come to sleep with you. Or something will happen. Right now at the count of three. Shout Jesus. I command those devils. One. Two. Three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Total emancipation. Hallelujah. Jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Embrekata kakos kata prekatish. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you. I speak as one send at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 let them go lose your hold over their lives let them go now let them go now let them go now hallelujah I'm inside this place now and I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet. But the Lord is showing me the number 12. 
and the Lord is saying there are 12 people here there is a strong call upon your life there is a mighty anointing Lord where are they Shagatos Kapakarikata drink of that wine Mantekatos Ketekekata Shabrakata a ministry of signs and wonders ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders signs and wonders I'm still praying the anointing of the spirit is still locating men I don't know why God is talking about ministry the call don't run away from the call don't run from the call a ministry of signs and wonders the Lord is telling someone, you are the liberator of your family. A ministry of signs, 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 signs. There are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Main auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium, and I stretch my hands from here. It doesn't matter what overflow, you just be sensitive to what God is doing. Main auditorium, I'm seeing eight people, eight people in the main auditorium at the count of three right now in the name of Jesus fire will come upon your hands i'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive i decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen I'm seeing oh my god the lord is opening my eyes here i'm i'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father i don't know if i'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh yeah please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly please make sure you hear what i say before you come just clear the, make way for them mm. The power of witchcraft. She, young man, you're going to be a mighty man of God. I don't know you. Lift your hands. An anointing is coming upon you now. Huh? It will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder. Or let that anointing come upon him right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus, I break that force now. I break that force now. I break that force now. Testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm praying. Listen. I stretch my hands towards you and I speak. I don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in jesus name i'm stretching my hands why am i seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of jesus christ i command everything that is not of god be broken now the blood be broken now by the blood be broken now by the blood be broken now by the blood be broken now 
hallelujah just two more things i'll do here whether i'm in this overflow or not i just stood here to show you that it makes no difference i know the larger congregation is here lift your hands all of you if you can just lift it as high to the heavens now i'm seeing you don't have to come out but i'm seeing keys in the spirit listen this is access to a new dimension and i'm seeing the number 44 just lift your hands you don't need to say anything father i stand as one sent those keys are locating families and locating people it may be a key that explains why things have not been working lord from the front to the back like a mighty wind whoever must receive that key receive it now receive it now receive it now in the mighty name of jesus christ let her go now out out now now this lady wearing a red hair tie in the name of jesus i'm seeing a grace that is coming let that anointing come upon you in the name of jesus christ let that anointing come upon you hallelujah overflow three i'm seen by the spirit the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already i'm going to pray listen except god has not sent me as i'm praying some of you instantly the power of god will come upon you and god is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact i see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the holy ghost i release you my dear hold my hands to you i'm seeing that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the lord is going to do in your life i decree and i declare it over your life i stand by the anointing and i pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of jesus emeka who is emeka emeka i'm hearing a name emeka overflow three here i'm just talking to overflow three people emeka emeka please quickly please quickly don't waste that time where is that gentleman what's your name i want to pray what do you do i'm going to pray for you you are not from this place you came for nyc I want to pray lift your hands because i'm seeing look at me the lord is giving you the grace for wealth huh i want you to believe it but every prosperity that does not have an assignment to end up destroying the people you love jesus with all your heart i want to pray for you it will surprise you the way god will begin to turn things around in your life father change this gentleman's story in the name of jesus forever overflow three i'm still praying the spirit 
of prophecy is coming on nine people. I will count four at the fourth count. One, two, three. Where are they, oh God? Four. Nine people. Nine people. The spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. All of you open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything you desire over for free. Open your mouth and decree. Open your mouth and decree. I'm seeing an anointing around here. Who is that person? I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as I'm standing here. Father, let the chains be broken now. The anointing of the spirit. Find that person. Let the chains be broken right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Be broken now. Hallelujah. Please, everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Hold on. There's someone here the lord is saying i'm rolling away your shame i'm seeing light as i was just passing i just saw light two people let the anointing find those people now two people right now i decree overflow two right now in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of jesus christ who is gabriel 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 i'm hearing a name who is gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do i know you lift your hands my brother god is about to change your life god is about to turn your life around uh, where are you coming from I want to pray for you you love Jesus what is is it Oleku or Aleku what is that huh? Huh? where are you from uh, Benway State you are from Benway State this is what has tied down your life and your family I want to pray for you I'm not a herbalist there eh? father in the name of Jesus let this gentleman be free right now I command that devil to leave you now just keep him there in the name of Jesus these two people this gentleman you yes and the lady by you come quickly please low 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory what do you do my friend you're a student you love Jesus I want to pray for you huh? yes, sir. are you together yes sir because I saw light on husband and wife yes please, sir. well I'm not going to discuss your issue now but two of you need deliverance eh? you love Jesus but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now huh you are not husband and wife yet but I'm seeing a lot of stories father in the name of Jesus look at me you're going to be very wealthy but the first thing you need to edit are your friends Huh? hear what I'm telling you huh? my, uh, my sister you know what I'm saying right huh? so your friends huh? confirm sir listen to me you are not truly born again if your friends don't change hear it from me all this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends if, if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together I'm close to a drunkard that means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by. Is that true? So, my friend, you love God, eh? But you see, um, look at what I'm doing. One leg in, one leg out. Huh? Don't be embarrassed. When I make the altar call, you need to run and come quickly. Jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to. Just for, No, 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 no. Let, let's take God serious and take him. Look what i see my friend i see god turning your life in a way that will surprise you but friends 
and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone it's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of Ahitophel God may be calling you to a great ministry but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus if you are under the yoke of wrong friends I stand and I speak right now may the Lord set you free this night in the name of Jesus Christ my dear there is favor on your life but it's not speaking at all hmm? you are a nice lady come I'm looking at you I'm seeing a young lady but I'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh. let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh this is a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is a mistake that we men of god make sometimes i can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced i will i will interpret the vision i've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married i will now advise him and say mr man you married a witch oh you do you know what it means to be a witch so uh, god is you see that god is is balancing a lot of things in our lives let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision i already know what is happening it is true that the lady needs help but it doesn't mean imagine that i look at this lady now and say my dear, you're a witch no this is a lovely she has a beautiful heart i already see by the spirit very beautiful heart but it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression it takes the power of god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves so many of you are here you find out for instance the moment you enter a relationship come for instance as you mean i enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me have you seen that happen i'm doing well in business but just because i married this lady i start going down and now you meet a man of god and if the man, if you are in ministry here please be careful you have to trust god for grace to be balanced are we together i can now look at this lady and say ah your wife is the reason behind your failure um what i'm trying to say is that oh there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands but it doesn't mean she's bad a good man of god will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we are going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is bring, because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands i decree and declare ah i'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of jesus i command this devil i'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now my dear i set you free and i open the door of favor for you right now please everybody lift your hands i'm seeing i've not seen this in a long time i'm seeing the map of nigeria and i'm seeing an anointing going to benway state benway state now benway state you are from benway state you see that that power will touch you even if you don't know what state you are from benway state lord where is in the name of jesus the power of god is bringing deliverance benway state in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names 
in the name of Jesus madam I'm going to pray for you two things I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke complete stroke the devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe but we're going to destroy that now in the name of Jesus hold my hands I decree and declare be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit madam I don't know you but ah you please come ah. this is your first time coming I need to pray for you what do you do ma you are jobless ma huh I'm looking at you and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed I hope I'm not embarrassing you I want to pray for you I give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you I lay my hands right now and I declare I'm seeing chains leaving you I command those chains to go father turn her life around in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please open your mouth and begin to pray hold on hold my hands in the name of Jesus Christ I open that closed door now I open that closed door now by the power of the Holy Ghost please open your mouth and begin to pray everyone open your mouth and pray the Lord is asking me to stand here just here just to stand here because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here here and here right now here and here I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit every planting that is not of God I uproot it now I uproot it now I uproot it now lift your voice and begin to pray please lift your voice and begin to pray in the name of Jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray hallelujah praise the lord i know our time is gone we are going to be very fast sir you're welcome sir can i pray for you sir why are they here priest you sir you are a priest I stabbed, my father stabbed and died. Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Mallory. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives. My brothers and my sisters, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service. This, this woman, come. Madam, you, yes, come. Please, quickly, come. We're out of time. Say in Jesus' name. Say it in Jesus' name. My life is about to change. Say it again. Say in Jesus' name. Reproach is leaving me now. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus' name. Sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man. But I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you? Your dad? Your father is a priest. Currently? Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now everything they have given you to drink and eat i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i set you free now be gone now out let it leave her i'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life but in the name of jesus hi jesus power is really super power really super power that in one moment something that has been done in a lifetime can live out now everything that is not of god our father is a priest or not her uncle direct father imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things but in jesus name you are set free this this man too why is he here look at my eyes just look at my eyes
You are receiving the healing anointing now. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, grant him access to the healing anointing. Your healing power. Now, oh dear, our time is gone. This is... Sometimes I honestly wish that this... this because there are so many things I see, but we have to work with time. This lady, you, come. Hurry up now, please, come. Uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with god your heart with him your heart with him hold my hands father in the name of jesus i take away distraction from her life Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I take away distraction. I take away distraction. I, we have we've not even prayed for the sick girl. My dear, come. This lady waving your hands. Come quickly. Your life is about to change. Come. Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. Yes, I'm here with my husband. Husband, yeah. where are you, sir? Let's clap for the husband. Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with your... Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No. We came with him. Oh, okay. So I'm a graduate. I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God. But at the same time, I do business. But it's sir, okay. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing, you will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry, ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time. Are you a man of God? Stand up. Stand up. Take that anointing now. In the name of Jesus, you step into a new dimension. I take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry. From today, you step into a realm of signs, wonders, miracles. In the name of Jesus. Can I pray for you, sir? Look at me. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Just hold it with both of your hands. In the name of Jesus, I transfer grace, signs and wonders, strange testimonies, your business, between now and 30th of November, sir, your finances will change, you and your wife, in ways that will surprise you. You will come back and testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. This man waving your hands, come together with that woman by your side. Who is she? Come, please, two of you, quickly. Let's appreciate them as they come. Oh, oh, oh. you sir i want to pray for you ah. madam i'm looking at you you're a nice woman but i'm seeing you carrying a load huh i'm seeing you like this and i'm seeing a load on your head and if i don't pray for you this load is going to destroy you i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir? are you new here by elsa by elsa hmm. all the way i think we should appreciate them <laughs> what do you do sir my pastor you're a pastor you're in ministry both of you evangelist. my ministry is separate your ministry is separate evangelist. but both of you came from yes, bielsa came together, you're an evangelist yes. you pastor a church yes, sir. how long has it been okay i was uh, about four years now in bielsa but you were somewhere yes i was in abuja you were in abuja yes. and then you left abuja and went to bielsa do you know what happened Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. 
these two graces god is giving it to you i don't know you sir i'm seeing you for the first time ma you are an evangelist i'm going to pray for you what do you do you hold crusades and all of that my precious saints welcome to the month of april god's promises for this month of april it's going to be massive it's abiding because his word would not lie the bible said and on the third day jesus resurrected this is not just the third month it is the fourth month and we believe with the significance of the number three the third month has passed so everything might have come to life this is the month where you must blossom you must blossom into the fullness of the possibilities of what god have in stock for your life in this month of april we we'll promise that we would translate the word of the lord we will bring the word of the lord we will convey the word of the lord to your very doorstep to your very room the word of the lord coming from the mouth of god through his servant apostle joshua selman and on this platform we trust the lord that the month of april as apostle joshua selman speaks over your life this month will be a smooth month this month will be a month full of encounters a month where jesus literally will visit your life visit your family visit your business is all you set your hands to do and cause all to excel and to come back alive god bless you don't go stay tuned with us for the word of the lord will bless your life shortly god bless you